Hello guys and welcome back to your girl's channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my maintenance day routine, my glow up routine. This is what I do once a month to get myself together. You know what, well, we don't all wake up as Instagram baddies. Some of us gotta put in a little work. Um, I've been seeing a lot of videos of like the $1,000 glow up, $2,000 glow up. I even saw one that was $4,000 and I am like, <laughs> That's a quarter of my student loan. I wish. I ain't got it like that. This right here is my routine that I like to do at home. On a budget, it's about $100, maybe $150. I don't know. And then again, this is a one-time purchase. So once you buy these things, I'm going to have these things for like a couple months. If you want to see my maintenance day, my glow up. All of that good stuff. Please keep on watching. <laughs> It's currently 10.39 p.m. No, it's not. It's 9.39 p.m. That's wrong. I can't see, hold on. Let me go set y'all in the bathroom. Y'all a little heavy. <coughs> Peace out. I'm gonna get started with my face. The only thing that's kinda new-ish or something that I haven't done since I was in middle school is my feet. I'm gonna be doing my feet at home because honestly, I don't like people touching my feet. Polish change, I'm always getting the same color, so I was like, save the coin. I'm gonna do that at home. So we're gonna be doing that again for the first time. In a long time. But this is also gonna be a first time in a long time thing. This is my Sally Hansen wax strips. This is for your underarms, legs, body, and more. It's but I use it for my face. I'm gonna go ahead and wax my eyebrows. I haven't got my eyebrows done in months. We're not gonna talk about my lace. I threw this wig together in like two hours. So we're not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna be real honest with you right now. I forgot the shape of my eyebrows. I forgot what they look like. It's been a minute. Last time I got my eyebrows done was. Uh, kind of like three months ago. You know, like last year. Dang. I haven't got. Ooh. I just used to do this all the time because it was really therapeutic for me, but. It's only four dollars to go get it done. But this is how you save money, okay? We're not all rich out here, all right? I think I wanna go do this in my room. I'm gonna go do this in my room. I'm all set up. I'm all nice and ready. I don't know how to explain this. I'm just gonna do it. I don't know. I just gotta watch and see what I do. I have my strips here and I have a pair of scissors to trim my brow hairs. I have a spoolie to, you know, I have a big pair of scissors because I'm gonna go ahead and cut the strips down to fit my eyebrow side. Cause my, my eyebrow's not that big, right? Correct. And these are just wires. We're gonna get this started. I'm gonna shut up now. I think I wanna listen to music. Okay. I have a music. What you got for me today? Let's go to browse. Oh, today's hit. Oh, I don't wanna listen to Lady Gaga. Let's go to R&B. And look at y'all, look at my lace. It's just lifting everywhere, just everywhere. That's embarrassing. downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out That's what they all say, yeah Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living But I don't really care what they all say It's easier said than done That guy and this is what my brows look like. I'm gonna go ahead and do what? The center of my brow and this other eyebrow off camera because there's no need for me to do it off camera. It's literally the same thing. The camera's about to die, so let me go ahead and do this off camera and then we'll come back to finish the face. One sec. My eyebrows look so nice. The older I get, the more eyebrow hairs I grow. The last thing that I do, I just brush them up and then I trim them. Usually, they don't need trimming. My eyebrow hairs just don't grow past a certain length. And I only used one of these. I still have this much left. I only used one of these. So baby, you're gonna have these strips for a lengthy amount of time. Next, we're gonna move on to our skincare, which is the face. Oh yeah, I should have mentioned this at the beginning. This is a two day process. I don't like doing all of this all in one day because self-care is kind of exhausting that's kind of weird but self-care is exhausting i'm not gonna do too much i'm just gonna go ahead and cleanse and put on a face mask i lied i'm not gonna do my skincare just yet because i don't want to do that right now okay we're gonna go ahead and move on to the pedicure that we finna do in this house i went ahead and grabbed everything that i needed everything i got from dollar tree except for the nail polish 
We're gonna get this. I got a bucket to soak my feet. Nail polish remover. This sassy and chic nail grooming kit. It has everything in here that I need. I just needed the cuticle pusher in the file because I couldn't find mine. We have this palace remover thing. We have cotton swabs and I don't know what this is. Something. This is a first aid kit. I'm assuming. No, it's a three-in-one <laughs> cotton set. I don't know. I just grabbed it because of cotton rounds. The nail polish I got from TJ Maxx. I got a base coat, a top coat, and an actual color. And the color that I'm going to be using today is this OPI Nail Liqueur Lipism Wants More. Honestly, truly, this is the color that I always gear towards when I'm getting my toes done. I always get polish changes because I hate pedicures. I hate people rubbing all up on my feet and scrubbing on it. I don't like people touching my feet unless it's my naked. Now, I know nothing about nothing about nail polish. If this is a bad brand, and this is what my basic research told me that I need. I was watching a DIY pedicure at home and she added Epsom salt and stuff in here. The only Epsom salt that I have is for like a bath soak and I don't want to use that. So I'm going to use this bath soak that my mom gave me. I'm pretty sure she got this from Walmart. I'm just going to toss this in here. Put a little bit of my body wash. You're not going to see. You're not going to see. Hold on. Let's just get to the soaky. Okay. Walking downtown and I'm okay. Eyes on me, I don't know what to do, so I smile and I wave. Right. Everyone's looking like they know what they're doing. Everyone's looking like they know what I'm pursuing. I'm trying not to give them the time of day. I push my cuticles back, I buff the top of my nails, and then I shaped up my nails real nicely with the nail foam. And now it looks all nice and pretty, and now it's ready for the nail polish. Okay, so your girl, ooh, zoom out. I just finished taking my shower. Already have on my face mask. To cleanse my face, I used my CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Double cleanse with that, and then the face mask that I currently have on is the Origins Clear Improvement Charcoal Clean Mask. I freaking love this stuff. I use it whenever I remember. Okay, so now it's time for the bath. Oh, oh I look weird. I went over to TJ and I picked up some bath soap to put in my bath to make the bubbles. This is the Peck Sniffs English Rose and Peony Luxury Bath. Soak and then for the soap salt that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna be using Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt. This is the Melatonin Sleep Soap. This is new, got it from Target. And this one was also new. I think this is a Dr. Teal's Palm and Serenity with Rose Essential Oil. I just love the way roses smell and I love the way it makes my bathroom smell afterwards because it just leaves this refreshing, nice smell in my bathroom for a couple days. I also have this measuring spoon in here. This is just one cup. They both call to add two cups of salt into your bath, but I'm just gonna take one cup of each. Let's get this started, okay, shall we? It's currently, what time is it? It's currently 12.31 p.m. I'm tired, I wanna go to bed. While my bathtub is filling up, I'm gonna go ahead and dry exfoliate using my rose and peony body polish. I told you I'm addicted to the scent of roses. It's not a sugar scrub, but it's a body exfoliator. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a dry scrub while my bathtub is filling up with water. By the time I'm done, that should be done. Soak for like 10, 15 minutes and go to bed. And that's gonna be it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Day two. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. I'm gonna go get my nails done. Now, I was facing a dilemma. I've already made the executive decision. I just didn't know which nail salon that I wanted to go to. The one that I went to last time, the only reason that I want to go back is because they gave me a mimosa. But the thing is, they just ain't do a good job on my nails and they were very expensive. So I just made the executive decision to just go to this new place that I saw the other day. If they do bad, well, I mean, I'm, gonna try. I'm not gonna bring the camera in there because they don't know me like that. But I'm gonna try and do a little bit of vlogging in there with my phone. Let's go get these bubbles done. This gonna be a drive. I have a couple questions. How much is next, Jen? Yeah?
Okay, yeah, that's what I want. Two hours later. My nails look fire. My nails are fucking fire, but the only thing that he did was um, they're not the same size, and I didn't get to wash my hands after words. I still got like that powdery in between my nails and whatnot. I don't know if y'all can see it. Y'all see that? I still got that stupid powder in my nails. But baby, aside from that, best nail salon experience I've had in a long time. I'm gonna be coming to this nail salon. It's not the best. They ain't got the beverages. They ain't let me wash my hands afterwards. But baby, they some nice ass people. And I'm gonna be coming right back. I do have a nail tech, y'all. But I only go to her for like looks. I'm not about to go to her when I'm doing this simp ass shit. The short nail stuff. But it's not worth your time. I'll see you guys when I get back home. Because we're gonna take care of this face. And then we're gonna continue on with our body yaddy yaddy stuff. That's rude. We're gonna move on to shave our face. Um, I got these um, razors from Burlington. They was five dollars. They were really cheap. It's a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a pack of six. I just took a quick glimpse of what I did last time. I didn't listen to that video. I took a glimpse and a couple minutes in, I was shaving my face, so that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm supposed to clean my face off to do any of that. I'm not gonna do it in this video. I did moisturize before I left, but that was like <laughs> six hours ago. Dang, it's been a long day. So I'm just gonna take the shirt that I currently have on and just pat my skin down. My shirt is clean. But low key, I've noticed that I've been getting a little bit of PFAS, so I'm so happy we're gonna get rid of that right now. Yeah. Right. I don't know if it's an allergic reaction to something that I've eaten, but my face has like tiny little bumps all over it. I don't know if y'all can see it. Whatever, my skin isn't perfect all the time. I'm gonna be real careful. Ooh, ooh, this sharp. Ooh, I'm gonna be careful. My face feels so swap. If you just do this, take care of your skin, your makeup, then it'll be popping. That's it. And I'm on a list. Like, you still got two more steps to do, and then we are done with this monthly maintenance thing. It's a lot of work. And I'm tired. I have to just take you on my bathroom. The lighting in there is not the best. I replaced the light bulbs in my room and in there, so it's more daylight. Let me know if you can see a difference, because I don't know. Maybe. It's in here. Can y'all tell the difference in here? I feel like it's still hella yellow. The paint in here is just ugly. <laughs> Baby, it's the ordinary. This is what I use to exfoliate. I haven't exfoliated in like three weeks. Bro. It's been three weeks. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on my face. It says leave it on your face for 10 minutes. And if you've ever used this before, you know that it does sometimes have a slight tingling sensation. But I'm gonna tell you right here, right now, that if you do this right after shaving your face, it's gonna tingle a little bit more. Just letting you know. Be careful. Man, I'm running low. I need to go get some more. Oh! I've been rhyming all week. What is going on? Am I supposed to be a rapper or something? I'm gonna leave this on my face for 10 minutes. A few moments later. So it's been 10 minutes. Well, actually it's been a little bit longer than 10 minutes. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next. Why was that hard? We're gonna move on to the next mask, which is this Redding and Fields and Blemish Clarifying Mask. I hate open toilets. Baby, this right here is gonna dry out. All these tiny little bumpity bum bump I got going on on my face right now. Can y'all see them? Yeah, you can see them. Look, I had some over here on my forehead, but they gone. And then my skin is peeling. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, I forgot how this smelled. Now, we finna go to a pregame, so I don't know how long I can leave this on my face for. Oh, I got about 40 minutes. I, I be like. Right. That face mask did what it was supposed to do. That's all I'm gonna say. I still have the little bumps here, but baby, <laughs> they gonna be gone by tomorrow morning. That's all I know. So the last and final face mask that I'm gonna use is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Now, I found that this works best if you don't sleep with it. I did it once and it didn't work out too well. It started to ball up. I don't know. It was just being weird. So I'm just gonna leave this on my face for however long my shower finna be and then I'll wash it off and then that's gonna be that on that. I love this because it's so hydrating. It makes my skin feel so good. And that's it for the skincare. We're done here. Until next month. <laughs> So the last and final step is shaving, which I'm about to do in the shower. I got these razors from Burlington. They was two dollars, three dollars. And these are gonna last me a good six months. There's 10 razors in here. I don't shave my legs, I don't shave my arms. The only places that I shave are my armpits and my vagina because God didn't bless me with much body hair, as you can see. Exhibit A, my eyebrows, but I'm not complaining. 
because I don't have to shave my arms and my legs. So it's a blessing and a curse. This is a blessing. So I use one razor for my vagina and then one razor for my armpit. Usually I get different colors, but I'm just gonna write with the Sharpie vagina and armpit and call it a day. I'm gonna end this video tomorrow morning so y'all can see my makeup and stuff. And why is the brightness looking like this? See, I told you the lighting in here is weird. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. And boom, told y'all I was gonna be bomb as fuck. What I check? What did I check? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comment section below. And for love and makeup and all things girly, please subscribe. And stay tuned for your girl next video. Bye guys. <laughs>